What's up everybody, Justin Case here. And with the Hall of Fame edition coming out August 7th and the Standard Edition coming out August 10th, um, EA decided to go ahead and drop a title update for Madden. And what they did is they took some uh, feedback from the beta players. Not really from the EA Access trial, but from the beta players. But a lot of us played the EA Access trial. And if you played the EA Access trial, you got your hands on the game and you saw some things that maybe you didn't like, maybe weren't right. And so EA went to um, take care of some things with this situation. Um, key highlights from this is uh, authenticity. They updated various stadiums, exteriors, player likeness, bodies, rosters, and coaches. Uh, they did some work on the real player most improved free play quarterback signatures, players acceleration rates, and AI control ball carriers, usage of the one cut mechanic. Uh, in the franchise, they tuned rookie generation to better match the base rosters and skill point progression for a better league balance. Commentary, of course, they added additional commentary for franchise, but solo challenges and more player specific content for the legends and rookies. And of course, they uh they fixed the uh, YG Big Bang soundtrack, you know, added Colin Kaepernick back. Feed me to the wolves, now I lead the pack and shit. You boys all cap, I'm more Colin Kaepernick. So let's go to the franchise updates that they took care of. First thing they want you to know is that they tuned the generated rookies to now have traits that are similar to base rosters. All right, so the generated rookies aren't coming out like super good. They're going to be similar to what the base rosters are because, you know, in the past you can get a 78 overall guy in the 6th, 7th round. Uh, they tuned the frequency of high overall rookies generated in the draft, i.e. that's what I just explained. Also increased regression for some positions to maintain more realistic league turnover rates. So we're going to have even more regression. I've seen it where a guy was 85 one year and went down to 76 the next year. Um, they increase XP cost of skill points for younger players and reduce XP cost for higher overall players. So kind of tuning that up. So if you got a good player, you got a better chance of getting even better. Um, they tune XP and earned from training awards and goals to increase XP gain for rising stars. So basically, if you're getting good, they're going to help you get better by winning awards and stuff like that. It's going to help you get better. Uh, reduce frequency of injuries. I know that was a big deal. Reduce simulated game score results during the preseason for better realism. Uh, they tuned post-game snapshot logic to reduce shots of idle players and empty space. Snapshot is a new thing they have where it sends you a little picture of what's going on, uh, big plays in the game. But uh, sometimes it was just shooting dead air. Uh, visual updates. They resolved the bug with the camera POV would exit the stadium. I guess that's the little camera is just run right out the stadium like the players usually do. They updated various stadium mysterious player likeness bodies, rosters, and coaches. Like I said earlier, they up, fa updated, excuse me, face likeness for the following players. Jimmy Garoppolo, Josh Allen, uh, Josh Rosen, Lamar Jackson, Sam Darnold, Saquon Barkley, Tyreek Hill, Jake Elliott, Alex Anzalone, and Hayden Hurst. Now, they did a lot of gameplay updates, so we're going to get into those here real quick. They tuned acceleration rates so players can hit their top speed faster. Fix an issue to make quarterback pre-play audio when using hot routes to bluff on running plays. Fix pass interference penalties not being called when a defender would use the cut stick mechanic versus a receiver while running his route. This applies to all game styles, difficulty levels, and that could be kind of a, uh, annoying when the guy knocked him off his route. I mean... That's what you want to do, right? But I mean, there is a five-yard rule where you got to get your hands off the receiver. They added the ability to view touchdown celebrations when playing online, so which is good. They added coverage logic to better defend passes to the flats. Fix an issue causing AI control ball carriers to repeatedly use the one-cut mechanic during the same play. So they fixed that so the running backs look more realistic. Uh, they fixed an issue to make the audibles on the fly interface update dynamically. Some people wasn't able to do audible on the fly. Basically what that is is if you're in the huddle and you break out the huddle, you want to do an audible before you get to the line. Uh, they fixed that. Uh, they fixed an issue that was preventing users from loading into game with their selected playbook when not using an active profile. This was for offline users, usually in a play now. They fixed cases of players giving up on the play after a failed attempt at a fumble recovery. Hopefully they fix it on... You know, a lot of other things. There was a lot of other plays that that happened. Also, fixed fumble tosses on the following plays. iPhone Pro, fullback fake, halfback flip, guns, trip, tight end, speed option, and iPhone Pro halfback toss. I've had that happen where it just tossed right into the fullback. Uh, they tuned to decrease the frequency of defensive wins versus double team blocks on zone plays. So, all the defensive linemen aren't splitting double teams. 
fix the miss handoff on the wildcat trips over jet sweep so now you can make sure you get that handoff on that jet sweep fix an issue with the pre-play pass blocking adjustments interface that caused players to get stuck in the menu not sure about that one but i guess that's a big deal fix for blockers or kick returns sometimes form an illegal wedge per the new NFL kickoff rules. We all know they changed the rules to make everything safer. Uh, fix an issue causing players to repeatedly knock the ball out during fumble recoveries. I've seen this happen, but it makes sense. Like if an offensive lineman picks the ball up, he doesn't have great carry. In real life, obviously they don't drop the ball that much if they pick it up, but they don't really pick it up. But in the game, if he has 10 carry and he gets hit, he should drop the ball. Anyway, um... Fix an issue around the camera pointing in the wrong direction during extra points and field goals. This is a problem in the last couple of years, but hopefully they got it taken care of early before the game got out. Uh, fix an issue that caused receivers to go into pass blocking assignment when running curl routes or after being sent in motion. I haven't seen that, but I bet that's annoying. Fix for defense alignment constantly shifting back and forth when using defensive line adjustment and pre-play. So if you try to, for me it was when I tried to move my guys outside to do contain then they would move and you know if I want them in a certain spot then they can't go back uh, fix for receivers and or defenders warping out of catch interactions there's also warping all the way down the field you seen the Le'Veon Bell when he warped down the field yeah. what's going on with Madden 19 man Madden 19 is back Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. They call it Super Le'Veon. Uh, fix for receivers running backwards after catching wide receiver screen passes. That is the most annoying. And here's another one. They said, after watching you play the game and listening to your beta feedback, we increased the speed of quarterback pre-play animations and added some more clock-driven context around the uh, while maintaining the integrity of the new approach. You can read about the quarterback signatures further in detail in their gameplay deep dives. You can go to EA and check that out. Also tuned to make player transition smoother from the huddle break to the line of scrimmage. Added functionality for quarterbacks, pre-play animation to speed up when there's either 10 seconds or less on the play clock or the game clock is running low. Under these circumstances, all QB adjustments you use the hot route animations only like the ones that we've used in the past. Uh, tuned to increase the speed of quarterback free play animations, what we're talking about, and added functionality for one free play adjustment when breaking the huddle, the quarterback will not use an animation if an adjustment is called right after the huddle break. But you will hear him say something like, leopard, leopard, or something like that. So, yeah, that's the what, that's what you can expect from this new title update that Madden just put out. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you got any questions, hit me back. If you got any um I don't know, suggestions or anything like that, let me know. Also, go ahead and drop that like, subscribe if you want to see more stuff, more Madden content, more things on the way. This is my new channel, starting it up, and, uh, you know, let's stay informed. All right, uh, I'm out. Thank you, just in case.